Hey guys, so basically I'm going to be doing some Vozov news. Basically, I'm very late to the party, but for people who haven't found out yet for some very unknown reason, uh, Donald Trump has agreed to go and meet Kim Jong-un. Um, whether that happens and where that happens is very unknown, but he seems keen to do it. Um, I thought I'd just read out some news that came out today. Uh, this is from CNN News. Uh, and the title reads, Trump isn't the first president to get a North Korean invite. So, I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to read the article. So, if you want to read the article, you'll have to do it yourself. But, but... The interesting thing is that Trump isn't the first. He's the first to accept. Now, I don't know. For me personally, as an Australian who has nothing to do with American politics or an American anything, really, I feel like it's a very bad idea. Um, like, I know he'll have security and stuff, but I don't know. I wouldn't feel comfortable meeting the North Korean president under any circumstances. And that is my honest opinion. Uh, please don't chase me down, Kim Jong-un, if you're watching. Please, please don't do it. Anyway, so, and another article from NBCnews.com. The title of the article reads... South Koreans expre express skepticism over Trump meeting with Kim Jong-un. Now, these guys border North Korea because they're obviously South Korea. So, if these people think it's a bad idea, that'd be like if me from New South Wales was like, Oi, I definitely wouldn't meet anybody from Queensland. Now, obviously there's nothing wrong with anybody from Queensland. But if there was, and I was expressing skepticism, you definitely have to think about that. Because it's definitely a worrying situation. Okay, so, if you thought the news was over, well, aren't you lucky that it's not over just yet? Because... I actually have found another thing this weekend, which is also quite out of date, but we're still gonna have a look at it anyway. So basically it's, it's called, um, I don't actually know what it's called. There's so many titles for it. Basically some serious, crazy violence and gear broke out on a cruise ship and well, it's not really funny, but it's a little bit hilarious in some ways. So basically, um, I'm just going to watch it and kind of react and review it. Um, and obviously I'll be putting it in the video so you can watch it as well. But just see what you think of it. All right, so here we go. So firstly, I'm just going to stop it there. There's just some chick just, just hugging, hugging like, looks like a trophy, but it's just like some, like pole in the middle of the cruise ship dining area. I don't know, but it's just weird. She just hugs it. I think she's definitely, definitely drunk as hell is definitely what she is. But basically, what you're seeing right now, if it's hard to see, because it is quite hard to see, it's basically security um, beating the heck out of some other people that are causing a problem on the cruise ship. So...
So this, this, this chick is just like trying to slap the camera out of this guy's hand. Um, as, as, cause I've seen this video already. It's not my first time watching through. Basically, um, he's like, just keeps telling him that it's legal for him to be recording the situation, but they're still obviously not happy with that. That dude just kicked that guy. I don't know if he's like, I think he's security. What the? They're full kicking the heck out of this person. What the hell? I don't know what he did, but literally so many security guards are like just kicking the heck out of this guy. Yeah, another, another dude is saying, do not record, basically. He's not, not happy about the scenario. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed this bit of news and you want me to do, do more news regularly, then definitely tell me because I'll definitely try to do it more often if you enjoy it. Um, even if you don't, I'll probably do it anyway. So whatever, whatever you feel like doing, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do whatever. But, but yeah, the encouragement will definitely make me Put more effort into whatever videos are people are excited about so yeah thanks so much like dislike i don't really care subscribe if you can i always appreciate sub subscribers um and just views subscribers and views are really all i care about if you never like my videos but you watch all of them good on you it's still good for me so yeah have a fantastic day or night depending on where you are in the world and I'll see you guys soon.